Hi, my name is Junko Hori, professor of ophthalmology at Nippon Medical School, Tokyo, Japan. I'm both an ophthalmologist and a scientist. As a clinician, my practice focuses primarily on uveitis and scleritis. I have treated over 2,000 patients of uveitis and over 400 patients of scleritis in our ocular inflammation service for the past 17 years. My scientific interests are focused in molecular and cellular mechanisms of ocular immunology, especially immune privilege, immune pathogenesis, and new molecular targeting therapy of uveitis and scleritis, and ocular tissue transplantation immunity. I have been conducting basic research for ocular inflammation and immunology. And the Life Science Center for Nippon Medical School for the past 22 years. Today, I'd like to show our research data of ocular immune checkpoints and immune privilege. Today's my topics are related to、uh, these two great scientists. Sir Peter Medawar received the Nobel Prize in 1960 for his discovery、uh, of immunological tolerance. In 1948, he first described about immune privilege of the eye. Professor Honjo Tasuku received the Nobel Prize a couple years ago for his discovery of programmed DES1, PD1, which is an immune checkpoint, and recently, immune checkpoint inhibitors,、uh, big topic as a cancer therapy. Brandt and Blingham were Medawar's postdoc, and they studied about transplantation immunology. They discovered immune rejection and memory and tolerance. Wayne Strayline was、uh, uh, Blingham's postdoc, and he explained that immune privilege. Is special properties to protect tissue from damage caused by immune responses and inflammation. Wayne Strayline's postdoc, including Jerry Nidakon, Vesa Denner, Kraus, and me, and、um, more than 100 postdocs,、uh, studied very hard to understand mechanisms of immune privilege. Corneal transplantation has less rejection than other organ grafts. It is because cornea is an immune privileged site and tissue. And we can study immune pathological mechanisms of graft rejection, and also immune regulatory, immune privileged mechanisms for graft acceptance using corneal transplantation models. Currently, three main mechanisms of immune privilege has been known. First is the presence of anatomical, cellular, and molecular barriers, such as absence of blood or lymph vessels, lack of or low expression of MSC, and less activated antigen-presenting cells. These are barriers on the immune induction phase. And lead to、uh, immunological ignorance after transplantation. And the second mechanism is、um, immune suppressive microenvironment in the cornea and anterior chamber. The third.
start mechanism is I derive the tolerance, so called the arcade. Regarding to uh, the immune suppressive microenvironment in the anterior segments, various immune modulatory factors are expressed in the anterior chamber and on corneal endothelial cells or IHLD bodies. The functions of inflammatory cells such as T cells, macrophages, neutrophils, and NK cells, and inflammatory cytokines and complements are inhibited by these various factors expressed in the anterior segments. Especially, corneal endothelial cells are immunologically really special cells uh, which express various uh, inhibitory code stimulatory signal molecules. Inhibitory code stimulatory molecules are recently referred to as immune checkpoints and are necessary for maintaining immune homeostasis and preventing inflammatory tissue damage. Program this uh, ligand 1 induces apoptosis of PD1 positive T cells. Pass ligand induces T cell apoptosis via pass. Collectin 9 also induces apoptosis of T cells via TIN3 and protects corneal endothelium. Glucocorticoid induced tumor necrosis factor receptor family related protein GITR ligand functions to induce box P3 positive, CD25 positive, CD4 positive T Rex via GITR of T cells. Inducible costumetry molecule ICOS ligand also induces Fox P3 positive, CD25 positive, CD4 positive T rex via ICOS on T cells. And ICOS ligand ICOS signaling also involved in arcade induction. B7 a3 is involved in induction of arcade. PDL1 is constitutively expressed in corneal endothelial cell and deep stomal cells and iris GRD body. And blockade of PDL1 or PD1 accelerates corneal allograft rejection. PDL1, PD1 mediated T cell apoptosis in the cornea is very dynamic. In normal cornea, PDL1 is only expressed in corneal endothelium and deep stroma, but not in corneal epithelium. In corneal allograft, PD1 expression on T cells is upregulated after contacting the corneal, corneal cells. And PDL1 expression on ethylene is also induced by inflammatory cytokines such as interferon gamma. Thus, uh, all layers, ethylene, stroma, and endothelium, has a capacity to induce T cell apoptosis. We have recently reported about a novel immune checkpoint receptor and ligand 
which extra domain, extra cellular domain, bears homology to uh, the V7 family ligand PDL1. The name of that new molecule is V domain immunoglobulin suppressor of T cell activation, VISTA. And other name is PD1H or B785. And VISTA can function as a receptor as well as a ligand. Blockade of VISTA accelerated corneal algebra projection. The VISTA involved in the induction of arcade. An anti-VISTA antibody decreased the proportion of CD8 positive CD103 positive T rec in spring. The VISTA uh, plays an essential role in the induction of arcade via CD8 positive uh, splenic T regulatory cells, which suppresses T cell infiltration in the core. These immune checkpoints molecule are mainly expressed on corneal endothelium and corneal endothelial cells display immune privilege. The primary immunogenicity of the cornea as an allograft resides within the epithelium and the endothelium not only lacks immunogenicity but also prevents allosensitization by stroma. It is uh, what we have learned from heterotopic corneal autografts under the kidney capsule. To exclude immunogenicity of allogenic epithelium, uh, epithelium deprived of orthotopic corneal autografts reconstituted in vitro with syngenic epithelium uh, created and uh, those chimeric uh, reconstituted corneal grafts uh, achieve high acceptance rates even in high-risk eyes of mice. And recipients of these grafts showed no evidence of donor-specific sensitization, implying that graft acceptance might result from immunological ignorance. A summary, cornea has regression systems for preventing inflammation-mediated tissue damage. But this system works by using various differently functioning immune checkpoint molecules. Knowledge of the ocular immune privilege indicates new ways to treat inflammatory ocular diseases, especially The idea of the immune privilege and immunogenicity and immune checkpoints are very useful for preventing rejection for longer and better vision after transplantation. This is my final slide for longer and better vision after corneal transplantation. In clinical settings, please think about immunogenicity and immune privilege of each layer of the cornea and predict a risk of rejection of each graft. Limbal, epithelial, dog, stroma, DMEC, DSEC. Each corneal part has a different risk of rejection. And modifying immunogenic potential of the tissue by tissue reconstitution, gene therapies to transfer immune modulating factors, and inducing T reps to recipients are future direction to prevent rejection. And also restoring anatomical barriers to suppress the corneal hemi and uh, lymphoangiogenesis by. Uh, VEGF receptor administration or macrophage depression, etc., are uh, important for uh, preventing rejection. These are also the future direction. Thank you for your attention.